Hey guys, I know it's been a minute, but I'm back to share a super easy and savory recipe. What can I be eating that is so flavorful and succulent? If you haven't tried this popular dim sum dish, you've got to try my recipe for Chinese steamed spare ribs with black beans or si zap jing pai guat. Before I show you specific ingredients I use for this dish, let's rave about my new knife block set from Kiyoku. This thing freaking spins guys, and there's a compartment for a cleaver, which I use to cut practically everything. This is definitely a product that I don't come across often in the States. To make si zap jing pai guat, you're going to need about one and a half to two pounds of pai guat or spare ribs. I usually get these strips and either cut them myself or ask the butcher to kindly do it for me. But I'll happily do it this time with my new Kiyoku cleaver. These knives are made with Japanese stainless steel, paired with a rosewood handle to offer precision and control to home chefs and culinary experts. In addition to these spare ribs, you'll need sugar, salted black beans, sesame oil, siu heng zhao or shaoxing wine, sea salt, white pepper powder, cornstarch, ginger, oyster sauce, light soy sauce, and scallions, which I left out. To make the marinade for the spare ribs, you're going to combine two teaspoons of sugar with half a teaspoon of salt and two tablespoons of cornstarch. Add a few dashes of white pepper powder along with two tablespoons of Shaoxing wine. Damn, I hate when that happens. Finally, add one tablespoon of oyster sauce along with two teaspoons of light soy sauce and mix until well combined. If you let the marinade sit for a while, make sure you give it a stir to break up the cornstarch that likely settled on the bottom, then pour it all over the pai guat. Add half a thumb of ginger cut into matchsticks, and two tablespoons of daozi or black beans. You may give the black beans a quick rinse before using them, but I find that they are more potent straight out of the container. Now it's time to get those hands dirty. That's if you're not wearing a glove. Mix until the spare ribs are thoroughly coated with the marinade. Now you're going to wrap it up with saran wrap and refrigerate them for at least 4 hours or even better, overnight. When you're ready to cook the seeds up Ting Pai Guat, prepare your steamer or in my case a wok filled with some water which I'll be bringing to a boil. While you're waiting for that to happen, pour the marinated spare ribs into a large dish. To ensure that the ribs steam all the way through, make sure there isn't too much overlapping or any at all for that matter. And for presentation purposes, make sure some of the daozi or black beans are visible to the eye to add some contrast and color. When you have this dish as dim sum, it's served in a tiny little plate and not enough to go around. Cooking one and a half pounds allows for several big spoonfuls of ribs along with the black bean sauce over your white rice, which is quite pleasing, I must say. Once your steamer is ready, place the dish in and steam for a whole 30 minutes. I'm all about multitasking, so while they're steaming, I'm going to cut up some scallions with my Kyoku knife for garnishment. Ugh, it's already dark outside, so the lighting, or lack thereof, isn't doing this dish justice. But trust me, you're going to want to try my recipe. Final touch. Add some of those chopped scallions and your dish is now more presentable. As my mom used to say, Sick fan la! Thirsty and at the pumpkin patch, um, we couldn't sit, sit there and drink water and eat snack. After catching up with my kids over dinner, it's time to clean up and put my knives away. If you enjoyed my recipe, make sure to like, share, and subscribe, and visit rackoflamb.com for more. Thanks for watching.